Today we are taking a look at 3D Hairbrush, developed by VFX Grace. It is a powerful hair grooming solution that can be definitely useful if you work with hair in Blender at any capacity. It includes a plethora of new features and comes with a 3D brush, pie menu, and uses radius curve, diameter random, and hair modifier. 3D brushes can distinguish complex surfaces of a model and provide artists with a robust workflow for grooming hairstyles inside Blender also providing different and well-designed brush presets and it gives an easy solution for making varying hairstyles which makes it convenient to control hair shapes or randomize thickness all within the hair particle system. The new modifier layer allows you to add layers until you get the results that you are looking for. This non-destructive workflow is really powerful as you can always go back and adjust any hair shape you created. 3D Hairbrush offers three versions, a free hairbrush viewer and this one can only render or view the effects created with the full version and cannot modify any parameters. After installing the add-on, you can use the brushes inside the particle edit mode. You have both a dedicated panel and a pie menu. You can see the add-on window inside the tool M panel and to invoke the pie menu, you can use the shortcut V. Additionally, you can hit J to display the parameter menu. And of course, you can easily change the hotkeys from the add-on parameter panel. And the great thing is, the pie menu items are customizable, so you can easily swap places and arrange all the brushes exactly as you want. The add-on has a slew of features like brushes, hair shapes, curves, modifiers, and so on. And the add-on has different brushes, and each of them can be used differently. First, the comb brush. It allows you to edit your hair similar to the paint brush but for hair. The brush has two modes, 2D and 3D. You can easily switch between 2D and 3D brush modes by checking the Use 3D Brush checkbox in the Options panel. When using the 3D brush mode, the editing is always vertical to the normal's direction on the surface. 2D mode, on the other hand, uses the viewport orientation, which is helpful when dealing with long strands of hair that are far away from the surface. You can check the mode change option to be able to automatically switch between the two modes while painting which is really helpful. Next you have the smooth brush. This brush as the name suggests allows you to smooth the disparities between the length of hair strands in one area making the transition a lot smoother. For example, if long strands of hair are sticking out or uneven in an area you can smooth the transition using this brush. The way it works is, it averages the length between all the surrounding hair strands similar to the Sculpt Smooth brush. Another really helpful brush that I really like is the Length brush. It has a few options like Grow, Shrink and Target Length. Grow and Shrink will allow you to shorten the hair and the target length will cap the lengthening of the set length. But if it is set to zero, the hair will keep growing or shrinking without any limit. This brush does something similar to the Unify Length feature, however it offers a lot more flexibility and more finer controls. There is also the Weight Brush, which allows you to use the weight paint on your hair. There is also Orient Brush with a lot of adjustment and allows you to orient your hair in any direction. The Bend Brush allows you to groom the hair flow and you can do that quickly by keeping the root fixed and only groom the tips. For the special brushes, you have the Attract Brush, which allows all the guys to be attracted to one point. If the Continuous Attract option is off, the hair will be attracted to one point. But if it is on, then they will be attracted to the position of the brush. There is also the Noise Brush, which as the name suggests, allows you to add organic randomness to your hair. The Noise Brush comes with a lot of versatile parameters like randomness, roughness, automatic seed, whether to randomize the tip or the root of the guys, and much more. We have the part brush, which is basically an orientation brush. The clone brush works similar to the Photoshop's clone brush by cloning part of the hair to a different location. And finally the color brush, which allows you to paint different color groups for your guides. You can assign, select and clean the color to set guides using the controls provided in the hair color options. But you can also use the hotkey J. Another exciting feature in the 3D hairbrush is random diameter. In addition to radius curves, a radius curve allows you to control the shape of the hair strands exactly as you want. But to use them, you need first to switch the cycles hair render engine. Then you will find the use radius curve option under the hair shape tab. You can easily create different hair shapes as well as save curve settings as a preset for later use at any time. Also something to note, you may want to increase the strand steps in the viewport to see more details in the results. The diameter random function on the other hand takes care of setting random thickness for the hair in one particle system. 
Last but not least, modifiers, the last addition to the 3D hairbrush collection, allow you to non-destructively alter the look of the hair system. It is children base, and you get three of them which are length, clump, and noise. For the clump modifier you have two types, and these are parent and generated. The noise modifier lets you control the randomness of your hair, as well as curve to control which influences range and makes the hair look more natural. The length modifier allows you to control the length of the hair, either just a portion or the entire shape. And a lot of parameters have special button which allows you to randomize any of the settings. Furthermore, you can accurately alter the random range using vertex color and textures for better control. If you found this add-on interesting, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.